Hi Pisces, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cr cross watcher. We're going to ask Spirit what's going on around you with love, what's next in love, anything about connections that you have today. I have pulled out some charms. I'm going to be using some charms. I'm also going to be using some letters, some initials, and some numbers that could have meaning for you. So please use this reading to manifest a love that you are worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that's come into your life. Spirit, if you could please share with me from my Pisces, for whoever's found this reading, what is it that you need them to know or hear today? What is the messages that you have for them in this area of their life? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have the air sign. Could be an air, air sign, air element. Work with the element of air to see the truth. You want to know the truth. I can honestly tell you the truth always comes out. You know, if you're ever worried about... Is somebody lying to me or cheating on me? The truth always comes out. You just have to keep asking spirit for the evidence, but the truth will come out eventually. I have a successful career, happy working environment with pay raises and promotion. How about just good news? <laughs> How about good news coming your way in other areas of your life in addition to love? You know, that you have some some kind of positive energy around you and then that positive energy is kind of, spilling over into your love life as well. So let's see what else they have. And I had some healing energy, true healing of the mind, body and soul. So spirit could be taking care of you in other areas of your life. You're seeing things clearly. You've got some good news coming in in other areas of your life and you're working on yourself. So just keep in mind that it's like, a, it, I always like to think of it, it's like a, a big circle and pieces of the pie. And sometime we're working on this piece of the pie and sometime we're working on this piece of the pie, but we're always trying to do a little bit, you know, in all areas of our life and spirits trying to help us in, in all of those areas as well. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Um, very grateful spirit has guided you here today. Let's see what spirit has. Welcome. And thank you for the comments always. Let's get these flippers. I've got a nine of cups. I've got a seven of wands. Let's see what I'm feeling. What's going on around my Pisces? I have the world and I have a five of pentacles. All right. So I'm getting through something with somebody. It's almost a feeling of I don't want to give up, right? You've got somebody that is deciding that they don't want to give up or they, it's almost like a second wind. You know, the person who, um, whatever's happened, if you guys are going through some difficult times right now, um, they're either saying, you know, like, let's keep going. Um, let's, let's keep doing this, something like that. Um, I don't want to give up. And you could be saying, I don't want to give up either. I love you. And I want to make this work. And I want to make sure that we're happy together. I'm, I'm happy when you're happy. Or, you know, maybe it's just that we've got to get through something and get to the other side. It's just like this two show pass. So I feel like we've got a connection here that neither one of us want to give up on the other, but we've got to get through something to um, get to the other side. And I feel like it's a difficult challenge. It could be really stressful for you. It could be financial stress. It could be an illness. It could be, um, you know, family issues, something like that. But it, it's a feeling of we've got to get through this. And, and if we aren't, if we don't do it together, it'll be even harder, you know, but if we do it together, we can, we can get through anything. So I feel like I need you by my side. I, I don't want to worry about, you know, doing this alone or I don't want to worry about, um, you know, something happening in this connection where um, it, it's just too difficult. And all I can think of is, you know, all the good times that we've had. And when it's good, it's good is how I feel. It's like it's a feeling of when it's good, it's good. But when it's hard, it's really hard. And but we're going to get through this. I just don't want to worry about doing it alone. I don't want to worry about um, losing you or something happening in this connection. So I'm going to say we're recommitting. You know, there's this tremendous fear of 
this going away. I mean, we could really be at a, a very difficult point in our relationship where we're both afraid to lose this connection. And we both have to step to the plate. We both have to want this and we both have to fight for it. But I feel like your person is saying, I don't want to give up either. Okay. And your fear could have been, I'm afraid that they they're ready to give in and throw in the towel. And I, I'm going to say it's a renewal, okay, that I want you to feel secure in this connection. I want you to feel like you used to feel in this connection, that I'm not going anywhere or that we're going to be okay. But I'm going to say it's a rejuvenation of some kind. It could be a reconciliation for some of you. Um, I will put that out there. You know, a reconciliation is here, you know, something like that. So if that doesn't connect to you, this reading might not be meant for you. Um, but let, let's keep going because I, I do have somebody that uh, is saying, I don't want to give up on this connection. Spirit, please share with me. What do we have? I have a promise. We could be engaged. We could be married or we could have talked about a future together. I don't want to give up on the future that we made to each other. I have a feminine energy. I have available. I want to be available to you, emotionally available. I want to be there for you. I have the stars are aligning that I, I do feel like this connection is coming back together. It, it's almost a, we had to go through some kind of storm to get to where we are now to realize that we really do want to stay together. We really do want to be together. So whether it's a kiss and making up or somebody coming back home, something along those lines, violets are blue, a sense of, I want to be loyal to you. I'll be faithful to you. And we're going to have that passion back. You know, sometimes when we have that reconciliation, we have that, that passion comes back. We find each other again. Um, and that's how it's coming into me. I'm definitely going to tag this as, you know, no contact returns, you know, something like that, but we find each other again and, I'm just going to put it out there that way today because that's how it's coming into me with this kind of rekindling energy and kissing, kissing and making up and um, even somebody moving back home or moving back in, um, coming home again, something like that is coming into me. So let's see what sign I have the, an Aquarius today. I have, they could be a Libra. If, if it, not your person sign. Don't worry about it. These are just a handful of clues. Same thing as when I get to the letters. You know, some things will connect to you, some things won't. It's a general reading for everybody. So I have a Cancer, Aries. I have a Capricorn, and I have a Scorpio. So it could be any of those signs. Let's get some letters. These could be the letters of the person that you're connecting to or that you're thinking of. Let's see if any of these connect to you or make sense to you today. Um, and let's just grab a handful of these and see what spirit has for you. I have the letter D. I have a letter M. I have a three, three months, three days, three weeks. Maybe we haven't been talking for three days, you know, something like that. The letter J, I have an I, I have two I's, we'll put those together. The number six, June, six weeks, six days, six months. The letter E, two E's. I have the number one, I have a seven, 17, could be important. Five, May, L, G, okay. The number four, April, that could be a big month for us or this connection. April could be like when everything starts to change or shift again, something like that. I have an X. I have the number eight. I have two eights, so August. I have another seven, July, August being important. And I have another four, four, four. So we'll take a look at those clues. Let's see what else Spirit has for this particular connection. Spirit, please share with me this connection and the sense of they don't want to give up and they want to keep this thing going. And 
they're coming back. It's like a feeling of coming back home, you know, um, you know, whether it's a home, you know, your home to them or physically a home coming back, just take a deep breath. It's almost like a, a relief that I now know what this person wants and that this person has decided that we're going to continue to work things out um, and things are going to be okay. Truth be told, the truth comes out. Okay. So the truth comes out that they still want to be with you. That's how that's the truth always comes out. I mean, that, that was something I said in the beginning and it, it's a feeling of they've got to define their feelings for you. They've got to express what it is that's been going through their head. And it's a feeling of if I'm not honest with my feelings, then we don't have a shot, but I do feel like we both sit down, we have a big heart to heart conversation, the truth comes out, we get everything out on the table, um, chaos and conflict, it could be, it could be very hard, it could be filled with tears, you know, it could be tears of frustration, it could be anger, and it could be happiness, you know, it could be like just this emotional roller coaster. And right now, I feel like we either have to just get through that to get to the other side um, and then we'll be okay. You know, it, it's a feeling of we've decided that we don't, neither one of us want to give up on the other and we've got to figure this out. And the only way to do it is to kind of get through it. You know, it's like walking through this, this fire somehow, but we can do it. Let's um, let's take a look at the charms. Now, these are just images, and I just like to read them intuitively and see if anything jumps out at me, what, what's important. Let's see. So this is coming into me with this saw. I've got to let something go. So somebody either is cutting, cutting ties with the karmics, literally like sawing something out of their life, okay? Um, letting something go. The telephone is coming into me as I want to feel like I, I with this ear and this telephone, like something was overheard. OK, that they you overheard a conversation you shouldn't have heard or that. Who are you talking to? Who are you? Who are you on the phone with? And I feel like that was the start of everything. And I feel like like, you know, here's like my defense mechanism going up, like all of a sudden the hairs on the back of my neck went up and this defense neck mechanism went up in my life where I was like, what the heck is going on? You've got to tell me if you're talking to somebody, is there a third party? Is there something else going on? So I feel like that was that was kind of the, the, the start of everything, like the kickoff of, of something. Um, I have this um, almost a feeling of like a peace, a peace offering, the flower and the bird that I'm, I'm coming and I'm handing you, you know, a peace offering. It could be a sorry. It could be I want to talk. I want to see you. I want you to understand. Um, but it feels like a peace offering to me is how that's coming into me. And I have a book. So I don't know. That's coming into me as more of a day, a date planner, making a date, making a plan. Let me let me see, you know, when are you available is more how it came into me. I want to turn this one over. I have a bomb. Yeah, I feel like the bomb, you know, it's like whatever this was and the hair going up on the back of my neck and whatever I overheard, I felt like somebody dropped the bomb on this connection. And it was just really scary and really upsetting. And now somebody's got to kind of explain themselves and let you know, you know, that this is this is going away, whatever that was, and and things are in a better place. And then I have an ace of spades. And I'd like to think that that's a, a lucky card. I'd like to feel like that's some kind of truth coming into you, some kind of um, explanation. I'm going to say it that way, an explanation coming into you as this connection is coming coming back to a reconciliation. So let, let's see what else spirit has. So somebody has some explaining to do and we need to know, you know, the truth. And I feel like even if it causes, you know, some kind of chaos and drama, it's certainly gonna cause something that we're gonna get through it, okay? Nine of pentacles. And then it's a sense of like rebuilding, 
rebuilding. Um, Ace of Cups, you know, the feelings are there. There's the king. Like, I want to share with you. I want to express my feelings. I want to be open and honest with my feelings. Maybe they weren't before. And now it's a feeling of, you know, I have nothing to lose if I'm not honest with you, but you. So I feel like they're realizing what they had what they had and what they can lose. And they do want to win you back. There's a sense of winning you back also. There's a sense of coming back home and I want to be home with you. And how do we make this work? So I, I'm really, I'm really feeling that whatever the chaos was, um, it's going to take some work to repair. It's, it's, we're worried that we don't have the, um, you know, the ability to do it. But I feel like love conquers all. I do want to say that. And, and here's this beautiful star, this feeling of like love conquers all. And we have a choice, you know, like we can go back and forth with this forever. We can be angry with each other. We can be resentful for each with each other. Or we can tap into some kind of new feelings again, you know, that we might struggle with, I have a Knight of Cups and a Page of Cups at the bottom of my deck. We might struggle with, you know, forgiveness and forgetting, and it may be hard, but we can have different feelings and new feelings. But the thing that Spirit shared with me was this feeling of, I don't want to give up and I do want to keep doing this. Okay. So if you both want to keep trying and you both think that this connection is worth it, you could have a lot at stake. You could have a lot invested in each other, time, uh, families. You could have children, some of you. And it's a feeling of I, I can't give up on this and I don't want to give up on you. So let's see what their feelings are. Let's see. Um, can Are we going to be happy, spirit? Are we going to be happy finding each other again? Let's just say it that way. I feel like I've been missing you my whole life. You know, that even being separated from you, I feel like I want to say that a different way. It's like my whole life changed because I was missing you. Like something along those lines, you know, my love for you will never die. And I feel like you're even when you weren't together or even going through this, they never stopped loving you. Okay. That's how it's coming into me. They never, they never stopped and they never, I, I don't know how we got here. Um, but it, however we got here, it, it's doesn't matter because we're here now. Um, and now we have to fix it right now. We have to fix it. I worry others will pull you away from me. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you to somebody else. And I, I feel like that's really important. This Knight of Cups is saying to me, like, I still have the passion and love for you that I had in the very beginning. And it's hard for me to open up, but I want to share what happened. I want to talk about what happened. I want to be the one you run to. I feel like I want to write again. I want to be the one that you run to again. I want to be with you. I want to offer you something real this time. You know, this, this sense of um, my love for you will never die. And I want to offer you something real. I, I think that those are important because in order to bring this connection back, you've got to know that this person never stopped loving you and that this love hasn't ended. And I, I think that that's important. I, I feel like this person has to say, I'm fighting for our future, or I want this. I want this. Um, I've realized that I don't want to lose you, basically. You feed my soul in ways that no one else can. So I'm just going to go with, you know, this overall energy of, I realize that I love you. And I've realized that even, even through the hardest of times that I never stopped loving you. I never stopped loving you. And that, that's what I want you to hold on to, um, at least in this reading today. So let's put this out into the universe and ask Spirit to guide you both. I want to thank Spirit for this reading. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind words and comments always. 
If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please go to my website, kathymamelandpsychicmedium.com.